Hello and welcome back to Necrovision Lost Company. This is still Niggeroth here along with... Fataku. Fataku. And we are in the fortress proper, or the back door of the fortress I think it is. Uh, we've just escaped from the haunted dam. And it appears that our fortress uh, escape is apparently a little overrun. And I wondered why it made that weird noise when we entered, and that's because we did go in through the back door. Am I too late? Had the creatures already overrun Fort Stern? I didn't come this far to I wonder if you turn now. around and leave now if it'll just roll credits. No, if you turn around now you'll be bombarded with a closed door and an endless stream of zombies. That uh, The first couple of runs I did of the stage, if you actually stood in that little uh, stairway section, you are just endlessly bombarded. So really? I decided to yeah, I decided to go the the more aggressive route here and pull out the, the good old vampire razor and just start wrecking shit. And, you know, unbeknownst to many of our viewers, that uh, vampires actually do shave with rocket launchers, so... Yes, I'm sure it was uh, a skit from the hit Leslie Nielsen film, Vampire or Dracula Dead and Loving It. Now available on Netflix Instant. Strongly recommend it. So, how much is Netflix paying you for your endorsements? Uh, actually, I'm part of the Leslie Nielsen Foundation. If you haven't seen any of his films, you obviously are either um, a caveman, or a Philistine, or a Nazi. Surely you can't be serious. Uh, yes, I am, and don't call me Shirley. What? Yeah, this is jokes. This is jokes, people. They're funny. But, so what's uh, yeah. this bullshit? Uh, this is an albino. This is an albino demon. And uh, I don't even think he's supposed to be here. You can actually you, you can actually not even know this guy is here. Because there's no trigger for it and there's no indication. He just kind of pops up behind you. You can just keep on going and completely ignore this transparent piece of bullshit. And apparently he's the Highlander because uh, he is immortal. And Scottish. And also, there can be only one. Or at least he's the only one I've seen. Ramirez, is this your woman? Actually, it, uh, I no. think it was... Oh. Don't correct me. <laughs> I know my Zardoz. Damn it, I will correct your misquoting James Bond. Yes. Oh, money pretty. I've seen you've worn your underwear today. <laughs> uh, but... Yeah, this uh, this stage is a bit weird. It's got a lot of, uh, not even many bosses, just enemies with boss health bars. It's unbelievable. This whole mess never ceases. Yes, amazing. this werewolf we've already fought numerous times. It's now unbelievable. Yeah, they should put that quote on the back of the box. In case someone actually buys this game, they should put that quote on the back of the box. In case somebody actually buys this game in, in a box. Oh, it's... I'm sorry, am I am I showing my age? I go to yes. a store and I pick it up off a shelf. Put my jewel case in the large box, please. Where am I going to store all these compact discs? But, uh, yeah, that's actually a bit of a frustrating fight. It's a very small arena. He does a considerable amount of damage, and there's not just really any good weapons to take him down, and then after you actually do kill him, you just kind of get rampaged by three barbed wire zombies. So You made it look so effortless, though. Yeah, because that wasn't my, my first attempt. That was about attempt number eight. Wait, you and mean this that... wasn't your first run-through? Uh, yeah, this is actually live. I was about to say, man, otherwise you're just Let, a fraud. Let's Pro. Let, let's Pro Necrovision Lost Company Part 2. Take one. Yeah. Way to point blank yourself with a rocket there. I was, uh, I, uh, he, he's, got a, he's got a good face for rockets. We've never actually seen his face, or at least not in this game. Yeah, you don't really see his face too often in uh, Necrovision either, outside of him piloting a scorpion battle tank. 
It's so fucking dumb. Yeah, that's uh, not a huge deviation from the rest of the game, though. Yeah, it's it's actually mildly a step up from, hey, here's a normal enemy we given a boss health bar. Well, it's no robot skeleton in a wheelchair. Yes, or a big ogre with nipple rings who doesn't even want to fight you. Yeah, he's like, man, I'm just trying to do my job. I'm a cave master. I got no cave. Yeah, uh, Mr. Carter, whoa. Uh, that's, what, that's not even a reference. You're not even a reference. Yes. So, uh, I'm mango wrangling here quite easily uh, as we go along. Uh, the, the map structure for this particular stage is uh, a bit odd, I suppose. It's basically a big circle to get around to a particular door that we'll be seeing shortly. I believe the actual terminology is clusterfuck. No, clusterfuck would be something incoherent. This... This at least gives the idea of, like, a structure, like an actual base, or how a building might be set up, with tunneled out stone hallways leading to granite tunnels. Maybe that's, maybe this fortress isn't completed yet. It's, it's hard to say. It's a work in progress. Yes. It's, uh, it's a, it's a future stage for the the first game, which we'll be uh, we'll be seeing a uh, a revisit to the actual fortress level from uh, Necrovision proper later on in the stage. For right now, though, this just seems to be like some kind of temporary back lot to the uh, the actual stage itself. I find it odd that they're trying to cash in on the success of the previous game. It's yeah. like, hey guys, remember when you did this last time? And actually, here's a little prop room from. Uh, the vampire world from uh, Necrovision. It's actually a really pathetic secret. A little baby coffin. Yeah. I guess it's to be like, hey, there's a vampire world. You remember that? You're not going to see it, but it's there. Well, we'll, we'll see one stage of it. Suicide. Nice old suicide zombie to the face and the massive amount of non-damage that it does. You figure a guy that's covered in like nine grenades would do more than absolutely nothing to my health. And this guy's on fire for some reason? Uh, sometimes sometimes the, the zombies that hold lanterns will kind of attempt to throw them at you but instead will just hit a nearby wall and just kinda ignite themselves. Which is probably a good reason why a lot of these guys don't have guns, because they'd probably just end up Shooting mowing each down each other. Yeah. yeah. A la our friend Patton. Yeah. But hey, look. Find the keys. <laughs> a keys. Yes. Maybe that's just an abbreviation for a name, like find Alan Keys. I think we all want to find Alan Keys. He'd be a great president. He's the libertarian uh, guy. African American libertarian. Is he libertarian? Yeah. I just I always thought of I just always thought of him as an underdog. That's why I'd vote for him. Hey, it's key. A keys. Yes. Now it says find remaining keys, but uh, there's actually just one more. This isn't really much of a, a an objective. At least actually, their mispluralization of words is consistent. Yeah, you actually could have found these keys before even reaching the door. So they're like, so. find A keys? Oh, you have A keys. Oh my god, what's this? Oh, it's an enemy we've already fought before. Oh, you killed him in two seconds. Yeah. That was a yeah, dramatic it's... introduction for an awfully anticlimactic battle. Oh, it's, it was just entirely to lull you into a false sense of security because, oh no. I'm sure this will be a lot more difficult. Tiny corridor, Scott's just people... Scotsman. Scotsman in Tiny Corridors. Yeah. That U2 album that never got released. And then they try to flank you. 
Yep. That was a hard ambush. That's why the ceiling is leaking blood. It's really spooky. But yeah, now we've uh, we've actually gotten both keys. I noticed they put a lot more effort into the unlocking animation on this door than any other door in the entire game. Yeah, um, this might have been like a tech demo or something. They were like, "This is what we hope to do in the rest of the levels." Come on, guys, we got to polish this up. This is what uh, this is what they're gonna think the whole thing looks like. Are you are you gonna bring up about level three? Got to tighten the graphics. Because <laughs> that's that's a bit played out. Uh, well, I didn't actually bring it up. You brought it up. Oh. But we gotta tighten the graphics up on level three, dog. Hey, look, it's another boss. It's probably this nurse. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's maybe this nurse. Oh no, it's not. It's the next nurse. Or is